Okay, we're back for this next video episode installment of the Speak Like a Leader public speaking skills training. I hope this these free videos have been awesome. I want them to provide value for you. I want you to be able to get something out of them. I hope you're inspired. I really do. Because uh, yes, we wanna help you with your public speaking skills, but we wanna help you be a healthy, authentic leader, a communicator who is healthy from the inside. And when they communicate, that health just spills out of them. And so hopefully this has been incredibly helpful for you. I hope you've checked out the speakwithpeople.com slash speak like a leader website. I hope you've downloaded the free speaking checklist and then make sure in all of these videos to check in the descriptions because I'm posting in there the podcast we talked about. I'm talking, I'm posting the books that we talked about. I'm talking about all the additional extra things. And so make sure you check all of those out. Okay, the last video, we had some fun. We asked if, if you're an at-home, okay? Like we did a little play on words there that offended you, I'm sorry. But today now we ask, do you speak with people? Do you speak with them? Because there's, there's a very real way to be able to speak with people or at them, even when you're standing in front of people. And so we wanna be able to help you elevate the importance and practice of that healthy communication in your life. Whether you are doing, uh, you're speaking to somebody one-on-one -on -one over coffee, whether it's to a team meeting, whether it's in front of people in a presentation, whether it's online, like I am now, and you do it as a, a training course, we're gonna be able to help you help you do with. So uh, we'll also post the quiz, the with or at quiz in the description so you can go and take that as well. But the first one, I assess and prioritize my daily health. Like what are you doing every single day to assess your daily health? Well, my best friend in the world, Dr. Tom, he says, do not rob your future self. Don't rob your future self. Make decisions today to be healthy to be authentic, to be real. A uh, second, if, if you speak with people, I'm consumed with the needs of my audience. You are obsessed with your audience's success. You wanna get over confidence issues. You wanna get over ums and the sweat and the nerves. Stop focusing on yourself. Like, I hate that it's that simple because we got all these training videos. I mean, YouTube is filled with like a million public speaking training videos but really stop focusing on yourself. If you wanna get over the filler words and the sweat and the your stomach rolling and all of that, the knees going out, just be obsessed with your audience's needs. Come up with solutions to your audience's problems. Okay, number three, I, with, I step out of the way. I step out of the way. It's no longer about me, it's about them. And that goes hand in hand with the, the last one we talked about. Four, I dive deep into the research on a topic, a uh, step, four of the pathway that actually lined up really nicely. We actually talk about how you got to take study and preparation to the next level. You got to take it to the next level. You got to become the expert on what you're presenting. You got to search, you got to dive down and find everything you possibly can get all that research together. Uh, the next step, uh, my prep is thorough for the time I have available. Here's the reality. You only have so much time. You only have so much time. So you decide how much time you have, and then you do the absolute best you can with that time. That's all you can do. The nextly, the next, next, I don't know what nextly is. Next, I wrestle, craft, and write big idea statements that everyone can remember and apply. Like you gotta wrestle with these big idea statements. These, this is the one thing that's gonna be memorable, repeatable, actionable. This is gonna solve the solution. This is gonna present hope. Like this is important. The next one, my message is a journey. My message is a journey. My talk is a journey. My presentation, my speech is a journey. I take them from here and it just, I'm just going up and down and I'm telling stories and bringing it. I mean, it's a journey. Like they're just, they're just glued to you. Next, I, prior, I prioritize simplicity, explanation, and application. We all want to be the deep guy, right? We all want to, I mean, and, and if you're brilliant, use it, use it. Use the data, use the brilliance, do everything you possibly can, but make it simple because people remember simple. Next, my stories connect deeply with the big idea. Don't just tell a story to tell a story, okay? Make sure your story falls in line with everything. That's why step five of the pathway, so incredibly important, embrace clarity. Because we're gonna teach you how everything connects together. That's why we gotta articulate so well. Next one, my stories connect deeply. Okay, we did that one. Next one, laughter is my partner. 
Laughter is my partner. No longer am I looking at laughter as a pain, even in the boardroom, even in a sales presentation. Here's why. When you use laughter, especially if you're a brand, like if these people don't know you and you're just getting up for the first time, use laughter. I'm going to a speaking engagement tomorrow. My first story will involve laughter. I'll use that to build trust with people because you know what laughter does? It punches down the walls that people have built up around their inside of their heart and their soul. Because life sucks sometimes, right? It does. It sucks. I mean, we've had the life sucked out of us. And we protect ourselves by building that wall. What laughter does is it tears on that wall and it says, hey, man, I can trust you. I can trust you. When you get that laughter, people are now going to listen. Now they're going to lean in. It's just this powerful, powerful, powerful thing. A couple more. I speak with love and empathy. No more talking down to people. Your, Your voice, your words are just filled with love and empathy. And then lastly, I'm the guide in the stories. And my stories are transparent and authentic. I'm real. In our Lead With People series on our podcast, I'll post the link to it in the description. Aaron Burke in the first week, I mean, he just dropped some amazing wisdom about how people don't people don't learn by watching from afar. They they learn by how you model things. And this is it. Like you, you gotta be the guide. You gotta be the guide. Okay, so it's up to you. Do you speak with or do you speak at people? I mean, that's what you gotta decide. And so if you decide to speak with people, you're gonna choose healthy communication. You're gonna breathe life into them. You're gonna you're going to provide them solutions to their problems. You're going to be audience obsessed. Or are you going to speak at people? You're going to suck the life out of them. You're going to be obsessed on your own. It's up to you. It's really up to you. Okay, make sure you check out the website, speakwithpeople.com slash speak like a leader. Trust me, we got a lot of videos to go. We're going to dive into the guts soon of how we're going to build these talks and become a better public speaker. But so much of speaking like a leader is getting this internal stuff right. All right, thanks friends. We'll see you in the next video.